Hi everyone, welcome to discussion of INACT May 2025 Forensic Medicine Recall Session. I am Dr. Manjunath, Faculty of Forensic Medicine in PW Medit. So let's start with the question number one. The question number one is something related to 116 BNS. You know, uh, BNS means Bharatiya Naya Samhita. 116 BNS is grievous hurt, that is Gora Agatakarna, that is grievous hurt basically. So if you see the question asked is, which of the following is not part of the grievous hurt? Options are fractured dislocation of bone or tooth, severe body pain for about 5 days, emasculation, permanent privation of sight of either eye. If you see this question 116 BNS, grievous hurt, fracture is a component, emasculation also component, permanent privation, the privation means loss of vision, that is also component of uh, grievous hurt. There are 8 clauses, so uh, but the option B, severe bodily pain, severe bodily pain for about 15 days when the victim is unable to do ordinary pursuit can be grievous hurt. But here the option is 5 days, so the answer is B is the answer. You can see here 116 BNS, there are 8 uh, clauses, the first one related to that is emasculation, second one related to the vision, the third that is related to the ear, the fourth component is permanent privation of any member or joint, the fifth destruction of permanent impairing of power of any member or joint and the seventh one is uh, disfiguration of face or uh, a fracture dislocation of bone or tooth can be grievous hurt. If you see here 8 clause, so any hurt which endangers life like example stab injury or abdomen or when sufferer to be during severe bodily pain for about 15 days, previously it was 20, now it is 15. So this can be asked in upcoming NEET PG exam. So now, now second question, her body, her rights, her choice. So that is about the MTP. MTP is very, very commonly asked question, very commonly asked in even NEET PG also. In India, minimum age for consenting to medical termination of pregnancy. It's a very simple question. So answer is 18 years. 18 years is the correct answer. Very simple. Then question number three, that is about the uh, age estimation. So the age estimation of 18 years, less than 18 years or more than 18 years, how are you going to uh, determine the age of the person, particularly age that is 18 years. So uh, which x-ray used to prove age more than 18 years? If you see here, appearance of medial end of the clavicle. So medial end is known as inner end of the clavicle or knee joint that is the lower end of femur and lower end of the so that is upper end of the tibia, that is a very useful joint in determining age 18 years and the wrist joint, wrist joint basically uh, lower end of uh, radius which uh, feels at the age of 18 years. So the best answer, I will go in favor of wrist joint, knee joint and appearance of inner end of clavicle. So uh, skull, no, sternum, no, so fusion of ischial tuberosity that is at the age of 21 years. So the best answer is A is the correct answer. The question number four uh, from uh, toxicology, uh, as usual one very commonly asked question is the rat poison and insecticide that is basically aluminum phosphate poisoning known as ulfos poisoning. So in the image what you can see here, so the tablets of aluminum phosphate also known as ulfos. The question is about in suspected case of poisoning, gastric lavage fluid is combined with the silver nitrate. So silver nitrate along with a gastric lavage fluid that is combined and uh, that give rise to black color, what is the best answer? The best answer would be alphose poison or aluminum phosphide poisoning. So it is a straightforward question. The question number five again from toxicology, there was the question about match the following, like uh, this was the uh, question. 
So uh, A, B, C, D that is lead, croton, opium and cocaine. On other side deliriant, organic irritant, metallic irritant, CNS depressant. So as you know lead, so lead is basically metallic irritant. So that is A, that is C. Croton, the croton is organic irritant. So croton plant is now that is organic irritant. So opium, so opium is basically CNS uh, depressant. The cocaine is basically deliriant. So uh, this is how uh, you can answer in the exam. It's a very simple question. So lead is metallic irritant, croton is organic irritant, opium is CNS depressant, a CNS poison, cocaine is deliriant. Cocaine is a well-known deliriant. So yes. The next question uh, from the uh, again toxicology about the mercury poison. You know, mercury poison is also known as acrodynia, pink's disease, mad hatter's disease and all. We discussed many times in our classes. Look at this very simple question. Following is seen in mercury poison. So, uh, answer would be mad hatter's disease. Meast line that is seen in arsenic poison. Basophilic stippling that is seen in case of lead poisoning. Neuropathy that is seen in case of arsenic poison. So, and also thallium poison. So, the best answer would be mad hatter's disease that is characterized by uh, CNS symptoms and the tremors. Next comes is uh, one more new question that is about the uh, DPDP Act, uh, Digital Personal Data Protection Act, DPTP Act. So, in the question was medical data security comes under which of the following law? So, the straightforward question, the answer would be DPDP Act, yes. Then uh, comes is uh, the cyanide poisoning, one more very commonly asked topic, cyanide poisoning, cyanide Mallika case, cyanide Mohan Kumar case and all. So yes, cyanide poisoning basically, uh, mechanism of cyanide poisoning and carbon monoxide poisoning. Remember cyanide and carbon monoxide, they inhibit complex 4 of electron transport chain. So the answer would be cytochrome C oxidase. So answer would be cytochrome C oxidase. Okay, NADH uh, dehydrogenase is the complex 1, succinate that is the complex 2, cytochrome C oxidoreductase is cytochrome that is the complex 3, the answer would be cytochrome C oxidase. So next, next question, there was a question uh, from burn injury, uh, history of uh, accidental burn injury while cooking. So uh, this is the question, uh, probable question. Uh, calculate the surface area bone injury in a below case of accidental bone injury. So uh, involving chest, the chest is around 9 percentage, both the upper limb 9 and 9 plus 18 plus 27 and the face. So face probably it is a 9 if you take, head and neck area basically uh, it is 9. So it is given only the face, probably uh, face and neck I, I consider this. So this is uh, around 33 to 37 percentage, it is more than 27. So probably 33 to 37 percentage. Uh, then uh, comes is from blast injury. So there was a question, the question about uh, triad of punctate laceration, punctate bruise, punctate abrasion seen in. It's basically Marshall triad. So Marshall's uh, triad. So Marshall triad is seen in uh, secondary blast injury, which is caused by flying missiles. So the best answer would be blast injury, secondary blast injury caused by flying missiles. So this is about question number 10. And question number 11 now uh, from dental charting. So identify the dental charting given below. If you see uh, the question there, so uh, there are four quadrant and all the four quadrant like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and uh, uh, look at the primary teeth. So the clue is A, B, C, D, E. So, uh, it is not universal system because universal system that starts with 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 14, 15, 16, like up to 32. It is not universal system. And uh, in FDA notation, uh, you will see uh, like this it is. It is 1, 2, 3, 4. The quadrant will be named as 1, 2, 3, 4. It is not FDI. So the best answer will be Palmer notation, one of the commonly used method. It is not Zygmondia also. Answer is Palmer notation. What is the clue here? If you see the clue here, look at this. Uh, Zygmondi method. In Zygmondi, so the labeling of uh, temporary teeth is Roman number that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. But in case of Palmer notation, if you see here that is A, B, C, D, E. So the best answer would be Palmer dental notation system. And look at this, this is the FDA notation that is 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 in clockwise direction. And uh, this is a modified FDI 
that is 1 2 3 4 so it would be like this so 1 2 3 4 this is modified FDI so all these are question asked I consider uh, so all the questions asked in forensic medicines are relatively very very easy and wish you all the best for upcoming exam thank you